Okay, Ink Mage here, and I'm sitting at my painting table, uh, just my dining room, and I am about to dive into some terrain pieces from Tiny Furniture. Now, if you haven't checked out Anastasia's work, it's incredible. Uh, her, her painting looks amazing. Her paint jobs are truly, truly masterpieces uh, of artwork. However, I'm going to paint my own just because the price is significantly less to paint your own. But the quality on these pieces is fantastic. So this is a wardrobe, and this is a dresser. And what's cool about the dresser is, it's just a different configuration on the other side. And so I have two sets of those. I have her coffin set. Some of them have some detail on them and come off. Some of them are plain, plain top. You get six of them in this set. You know, I'm gonna do my famous drop test, watch this. This is not breaking. These pieces are resin, but I'm no resin master, so I don't know what resins are available, but I mean, if, if I didn't know better, it's plastic, so maybe there's plastic resin. Somebody out there can comment and, and let me know and school me up on that. Either way, I don't really care. It feels great. These are gonna be durable. Lots of nice little detail to paint, but not overly detailed so that if you if you are intimidated by doing a lot of painting, uh, you know, that's not gonna be a problem. There's just enough on here to make it look great, but not overwhelm you. So the quality on these feels incredible. These, you know, I, <laughs> I got a message saying it would be because I'm in the United States and Anastasia's tiny furniture is set up in Russia that it could be up to 40 days or more before I got it. But I got mine really fast. And what I'll do is I'll paint these up and let you take a look and then we'll come back and, and see how they, how they are after I've painted them. All right, so I'm back with the big reveal. And I think it's important for me to tell you I'm not a great painter. I can't do a lot of detail. And I'm okay with that. I just want to make it look good for my table. Maybe many of you are like me. Maybe many of you would like to have some uh, set dressing, but you don't have a lot of time to put into painting. Maybe you're not good at painting, or maybe you are. This is, uh, this is great for anybody, really. Uh, anybody can, could paint these up. And I'm going to show you what I did, starting with uh, one of the wardrobes. And I have two of the wardrobes, and I did the same thing. I just use a dark brown called melted chocolate and I painted it then I dry brushed it with a golden brown and just used some metallic gold for the places where there were some metal pieces and I think it looks good I did the same thing for the for the dressers which you know come double-sided and again these are gonna look fantastic whether you're using maps Let's see, I got a map here, right? Whether you're just using maps or you have 3D terrain, whatever, these will be a wonderful addition to help bring your scenes alive for your favorite role-playing game. Now, on to the, the, uh, the coffins. I'm gonna start with the more detailed piece and I'm gonna quickly explain something. Uh, so lots of detail here in this in this sculpture, as you can see, chains, rivets, skeletons, um, <laughs> cracked wood. I opted to not fill in the hole, and there are there were little pieces where you could, or you could put an arm coming out. I didn't want to do that, and actually, what it really boils down to is I wanted to do the least amount of work to just get this on my table. So, you, again, you don't have to be a great painter. I, I just used some gold in places, you know, for hinges and some metallic silver for the chains and locks, rivets, and, and again, the melted chocolate with a golden brown dry brush. This is going to look great on my table. Uh, there was a lid that did have some more detail. I, I did a little bit. I could have done better. I'm not as good as Anastasia. You don't have to be either. All you have to do is just drop a little uh, paint of your of your uh, choice. I did a metallic gold and make it look great. Check that out. Look at that. Again, I'm no great painter. 
hey, no jokes. You don't have to make fun of me. I'm just trying to show you that you don't have to be a great painter to, to make it look good for your set. And I just painted, you know, I did a couple of the rivets and then I dry brushed, you know, to highlight this skeletal ghostly visage. Uh, it's going to be terrifying. So you get six coffins. Six. That was the perfect number. It was exactly what I needed for uh, my Curse of Strahd campaign. I'm running it again for a second time. I didn't have these the first time. These would have been so useful. My players would have gone nuts. This group will. <laughs> so whether you're creating a shop for a... Look at this. You could do... Again, let me, let me go back. This is an old D&D map. Let's, let's look. Why couldn't this be an Undertaker's... Um, an Undertaker's shop where he's got some coffins for sale, right? You can, like even has a he has a wardrobe or or where he keeps his tools. Check that out. So what's what's great about the tiny furniture stuff, and and I will most certainly uh, be back to um, Anastasia's store to buy more, is that whether you're using D and D tiles, maps. Uh, or 3D terrain, you can really, really dress up your your setting and your encounter, even if it's just for pure role playing purposes. You're you're you know you're in a location and it's just set. It's just a wonderful, wonderful addition for your role playing game arsenal. Uh, my wife calls this uh, dollhouse dressing for men, but you know what? It's not just for men. This is for everybody. Everybody who loves role playing. Everybody who loves. Uh, Wargaming, everybody who loves being a dungeon master. So I highly recommend that you head over to Tiny Furniture, follow her on Instagram, on Facebook, uh, visit her website, it'll be in the link below, and, and go buy something. Uh, for goodness sakes, it's very reasonable, and you're supporting a small company that is providing quality, quality work. So I highly recommend them. If you found this video useful, please share it with your friends, like, subscribe. I get extra XP for those who uh, who do. Uh, so definitely uh, looking forward to sharing more of Tiny Furniture stuff in the future. And until next time, take care. And if you weren't aware, Tiny Furniture is currently running a campaign live on Indiegogo to bring a population of NPCs with flair to your campaign. Be sure to visit Indiegogo and search for Tiny Market Square and get in and support this awesome campaign.